chicken. Chicken, chicken, high speed chicken. <laughs> Welcome to the Green Tech Festival. I co-founded this event uh, four years ago. It's this year at the Berlin airport in Tegel, and it's all about being a platform for the world's leading change makers, the greatest green technologies to enable them. And we're kicking this off with the driving experience with the Audi RS e-tron GT, whatever it's called. Let's go. Today on the menu is acceleration, slalom. Let's take the car to the limit. No, we don't push it. We go a little bit faster. We just go a little bit faster. I don't know if says. Oh no, where, where, where was I going? Here? Yeah. Okay, it says brake at the at the brake pillars. Is the whoa, the seat belt pulled together. Oh my goodness, that was late braking. That was very late braking. That was very late braking. There we go. She came. She came. She came. She came. Chicane, chicane, high speed chicane. That's oh, right! High speed chicane. Oh, it's a hairpin. Hairpin, hairpin. It's a hairpin. It's a high speed corner. High speed corner. And it's over the braking to go to into the pits. So that was actually crazy. He's not impressed. <laughs> At the Green Tech Festival, we're driving forward mobility. But what's the future going to look like? This is what we can find out at the Volkswagen Group Forum. And here at the Volkswagen Group Forum, we're going to get a real idea of what those cars are going to look like in four steps. And it's going to end up with me driving the most futuristic car that I've ever driven, which is the ID Life. Super excited, come along. And here we're kicking off with Skoda, which is a Skoda Vision uh, IV. And uh, it's cool to see how such a concept car you know, ends up in reality. Um, and here, this is the VW Group. So you, what they're doing is they're using the basis of, uh, of the VW Group for all VWs, Skodas, Audis, etc. of the future, kind of. And then, of course, it's the whole customization of the, of the shape, the design, that remains then in the sub-brands of Skoda. So it's really like uniting everything, which is just very cost-efficient. You know, that's the future now with e-mobility. I like the direction. And Audi, here's an example how they were also leading the way in innovation on the actual real cars that were road legal. And this is the best example here with the legendary Audi Quattro. So here, of course, the legend, um, one of the coolest cars ever. So even these legends are now getting an getting innovation touch-up um, and transformation into that. And as soon as it's possible to order, I'd like to. I'd like to order one for the family. I mean, that's just, that's the coolest thing ever. So of course, Volkswagen, they want to transform themselves from a, from a combustion engine car manufacturer to a complete software, software company, electric, connected, you know, it's a big, big transition. And here again, you just see the benefit of losing that engine and gearbox, yeah? The amount of space that you have, the car is not bigger than the normal car, but the amount of space is just, uh, just insane. So this is the future, and it's like only eight years away that we're going to be driving in a thing like this um, down the streets in Berlin. But most importantly, now we're going to go check out the ID Life, which is the future of Volkswagen, and we're going to drive it. from Puerto Rico. I am. So that was the first time I think ever that I was asked to do a selfie because of being a YouTuber. So he was like, "Thank you, my artist." I was like, "My pleasure." Wow, look at that! So this is the future, and it's not too far away. It's going to be similar in just three years' time. Uh, Twenty-five thousand euros then. And of course the whole materials are uh, all more environmentally friendly. So here, recycled plastic with some wood to get that texture going. You've got rice husks, which are in the Conti tires. Uh, recycled plastic PT here. More focused on like your experience also within the car. So apparently you can put down the whole seats and it turns into a bed. Oh, my cinema screen is going up. Amazing. I'm very, very comfy. I didn't sleep much last night, so a little snooze would be pretty cool now. Can I go for a push and drive the car? Of course, yeah. This is amazing. <laughs> okay, can put my mobile. <laughs> you ready? Mm -hmm. Whoa, never, I've never driven a prototype like this before. This is insane. Quite crackly. Definitely doesn't sound like it. Like that, I should be doing a big push now. 
it's really weird to have a steering wheel that's only half a steering wheel which I shouldn't say because I just drive F1 like that but if once you go here there's no more there's no more thing to turn <laughs> there's no they are very nervous about me driving this car <laughs> believe me they are very 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 nervous all right enough jokes now let's go back to the green tech festival Okay, here we go, one of the highlights of the Green Tech Festival. Starting now, I'm taking the car to go to the green carpet, which is our green Oscar night, our gala evening, um, green awards, where we give prizes to the world's leading change makers. And important question, I've tried to be a bit courageous tonight, so let me know thumbs up or thumbs down for the suit color I've chosen. <laughs> it's definitely borderline. Um, so here we go, let's go. So that was an awesome green carpet, it's full house. I mean, we've got a thousand people here. You know, I think it's gonna be a very special night. Uh, and most importantly, you know, we're really like, we're celebrating the real heroes here in this green transition, you know, like youngsters, startups, NGOs, uh, even CEOs, you know? So it's gonna be a very emotional night. I'm looking forward to it. Um, so let's, let's do the show. Please welcome Alvaro Soler. So I'm Look. a German superstar. Yeah, you're German. You're Spanish. I'm Spanish. Yeah, yeah okay. I mean, it's okay. Half, anyway, half. It doesn't matter. <laughs> we're from the world. Yeah. So we're so <laughs> thankful. You're going to be performing later, which we're super excited about. I think it's going to be great. Me too. It's yeah. the first time I could attend. Last time I, I was digitally here in some way, but uh, this time performing. It was, I mean, it's, it's great to be here, really. The winner the category youngsters is... Venetia! Woo! The Green Awards are over now, and our superstar winner is Venetia here. Venetia, superstar winner. Um, she's actually supported by the Royal Foundation in, in the UK, uh, so by Prince William. Uh, and she, I mean, she invented a, a ironing cart powered by solar energy um, because at the moment in India, the ironing ironing boards or what, what do you call them are powered by coal. Like in the ironing, like this is like unbelievable. And so, uh, and so she's really innovated that and with, with, at the age of 15, you know, so it's unbelievable what inspirational people are here. She's come all the way from India, which is, which is amazing, so we're very proud of that. And now, what are we doing? Tomorrow is the exhibition and you hit the lens. Okay, you, you, you Tomorrow is the exhibition. It's the next day, we're in the exhibition. I'm gonna show you the highlights. Yeah, when I blow up, I'm a sore high like Peter Pan. In real life, be living out my dreams if I'm waking up. So first of all, we're starting with IDAG, which is an engineering company. Direct competitors to my company, actually, but we are neutral, of course, and very cool. They did a partnership with Eintracht Frankfurt, um, and it's a little robot that goes around the stadium then and picks up all the garbage with artificial intelligence, designed in-house, super cool. Um, so this is gonna make the stadiums in the football world cleaner, and then they have the same for, for also transporting people. And that's it from here, let's go to the next one. Okay, Hyundai now, we've got one of the most futuristic robots here. One really cool idea, for example, use case is this for the firefighters, yeah? When they're going into something, they can send that guy first, he explores everything, analyzes, f sends back the information, and then they can go, you know? And that helps them not risk their lives. That's one example of many, many use cases. Oh, it's just you, me, and the odds. We stuck together. We Textile clothing, of course, is also a big part here. Here, this mountain represents how much an average person in the world has in clothes in his lifetime. So it's like 1.5 tons. Um, and you know so much gets wasted like 14 kilograms of clothes get wasted per person per per year so it's really important for us to get into this like reusing recycling clothes so they gather old clothes recycle and recreate new clothes from that and that of course is the most sustainable way uh, so that's also represented here with some great ideas and here we see strange people from Deutsche Bahn and by huge coincidence actually the stop is where I'm born which is uh, Wiesbaden which really is not planned so that's nice to go there of course autonomously driven and it's really about making the whole experience even more com comfortable you know as if you're as if you're in your home um, to really encourage people to use more the train which I've been using uh, lately quite a lot that's cool look at that so you've got your e-scooter charging station there uh, for your trip that looks pretty cool Whoa, that's sick. That's crazy. So there's even a huge train here. Damn cool. And that was the end of the exhibition tour.
Okay, I'm here in the Siemens VIP lounge up here. Best location to check out the GameTech Festival. It's coming to a close now. We're in the closing minutes here. Uh, it's been really a lovely event. Thank you to all of you if you were here as well. Uh, amazing. Really, really proud, proud moment. Um, so many exhibitors. I mean, we had 200 exhibitors, or more than 200, you know, and thousands, tens of thousands of visitors. You know, it was uh, very, very special, very emotional. Uh, there's still the after parties. There's a couple coming now, so it's still going to be a, a long night, uh, which is going to be fun. Um, but in the meantime, thanks a lot for, for watching the vlog, for supporting, and uh, see you next time. Sorry? International events, Singapore, London, New York, next step. Singapore, London, New York, next step, guys, GTF, going global. But then we can also maybe show your after-party photo already. Which one do you mean? The booty one. <laughs> My booty. <laughs> yes. <laughs>